Yeah, tell me your favorite South and West Coast. Okay, so my South would be... Drum roll, please. Do -do 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 -do. I think Bearded Hog. Why? So it's like pulled pork and all these different sources. Mm. Sauces. <laughs> Sauces. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I liked it. You gotta try it. I think that Where that would it? be my. Uh, it's by the airport. Yeah. It's like a. You go to their. We'll link them below. Go to their page and you'll see. You know. Check Who's out the page stuff. in here? Oh. Mm. Welcome back to Bajan Lifestyles, where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. You guys are always asking where to eat, where to stay. So the next set of videos are going to be all about what to do when you're in Barbados. And we're going to start it all off with the top five places to eat in Barbados. And we've got some amazing categories, perfect for those who want to go on the West Coast, on the South Coast, who want a bit of nightlife, who want a bit of scenery. We've got it all for you. Let's have the Miss Beautiful Shazi in the yeah. Hello! Yes, got it. Oh my God. So they enjoyed. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys watched. I'm holding you to it, okay? I hope you did, guys. I'm holding you to it that you watched the first five on her channel. Comment if you did. Please do. And if you subscribe, let me know if you head on over from Beijing Lifestyles onto Hey Shazine. So you watched the first five and we've got a second five here, right? Yes. Let's go. Let's jump into it. Yeah. So Chaz, tell me your favorite South and West Coast. Okay, so my South would be... Drum roll, please. Do, 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 do. I think Bearded Hog. Why? So it is a food truck, guys. Mm -hmm. But when I think about, like, once again, I come from New York, mm. like flavors, very, a lot of flavor I really like. And so it's like pulled pork and all these different sources, mm. sauces. <laughs> sauces. <laughs> yeah. The New York, right? <laughs> Over fries. So I liked it. You got to try it. I think that, Where that is would it? be my... Uh, it's by the airport. Yeah, it's like a... You go to their, we'll link them below. Go to their page and you'll see, you know, check Who's out Who's the page in here? Oh. All right, West one. West would be Reggie's Real Jerk, Real Jamaican Jerk Chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought that was very flavorful as well. It's authentically Jamaican slash Bajan. <laughs> <laughs> it has a lot more flavor than a lot of the other Caribbean food I've had on the island. So go, go ahead, you. Reggie. <laughs> I'm gonna try it for sure now. Yes. <laughs> oh, I also like that it's on the water too. Mm. If you go there during the night, I think it could be like a really nice date spot nice as well. Nice vibes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the next one? The next one is actually good vibes. Good vibes, yeah. okay. Well, so sure. we're, what do we categorize as good vibes? For me, okay. it's some place chilled, relaxed, good music, not too low, not too crowded. Like it's just perfect. It's just peace. Okay, okay. It's peace. Mm -hmm. With a vibe. With like, a vibe. Yeah. Okay, I need a little bit of a crowd for my definition. Oh. When I give you, I'm going to need that yeah. as well. Somewhere where if I wanted to go by myself, I could go and probably meet folks or oh. whatnot. That's going to be my definition. You definitely so. were outgoing in me. <laughs> <laughs> What's your choice? My choice of a good vibe. So for me, it would be Baby Doll. Baby Doll oh, restaurant. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. I've been hearing about it, actually. I haven't been. Mm -hmm. Again, on the South Coast. I've got, there's a lot of places Listen, on the I'm South really Coast. happy that I stayed on the South Coast. I was yeah. reading between West and South, and yeah. I was hearing mixed reviews, and mm -hmm. I'm so happy that I'm on the South, because mostly everything is on the yes. South. Just more up. activity on yeah, the South. Definitely yeah, definitely more activity. Yeah. Baby oh, Doll is okay. really cute. It's really, like, chill. It's, like, beachy, beachfront mm -hmm. meets boho. Oh, Cutesy okay. kind of thing. Okay, okay. Instagram. Okay, Instagram. Instagram and mobile, but not as much as Pavel. Okay, say. okay. Disclaimer. That's good to know. Yeah. I like those places because I feel like they work for like birthday events mm -hmm, and things like that. Mm -hmm. So mine, I would say, is Cafe Sola again because ah, I feel like I feel like a you lot like of people the come, vibe and the people. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a lot of people go there for drinks. If you sit at the bar, I think it could be cool. Mm -hmm. Um, and then once again, St. Lawrence Gap, you mm -hmm. can go into. My experience is limited. Let me just say that once again, this is coming from the tourist perspective, yeah. but. As of now, I would say Cafe Soul would be the place mm. if I wanted to go somewhere by mm. myself and just nibble on some food yeah. and like drinks, I think it would be Cafe Soul. I'm gonna try that and I will put it out and have it on my Instagram so you can follow me on Instagram if you wanna yes. see how that goes. And as always, don't forget to follow Tazim, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah? Make and sure you follow me, Stay tuned, so much content there. And the last one is street food. Street food. For me, my street food, I am going, not sure if this is classified as street food, what is it? Oh, I have two. How do I do this? Okay, so I love Cuz. Love oh, me some Cuz. Never heard of this place. Pebble. He's actually in some international magazines as the best place to eat in Barbados. Oh, I'll have to write it down. What kind of food is served there? So it's very, very basic. Okay. Fish, egg, lettuce, tomato. Okay. Cheese. And cheese. In a bread. In a bread. 
Yeah. It's a cutter. It's a cutter. Okay, that's a new word I learned. Yes, cause <laughs> cause fish cutters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cause fish cutters. Okay, yeah, I'll have it's to try right that. on Pebble Beach. It's good. I love it. And my second would be Lisa's doubles. Okay, that one I have to try. So yeah. you post that on Instagram. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to check it out. I love I do them. like doubles. It is messy though. So you gotta be ready. Get your mm. fingers dirty. Get your face full of all that chana sauce. I'm ready for that. Maybe yeah. we might go actually after this if you're Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, mine is? is Firebird. So I like Worthing Square. Oh yes, I've heard of that. Yes. I like the Worthing Square area ah. because it's like a whole bunch of food trucks and it's like that kind of vibe. A lot of people go there to mm -hmm. hang out. I guess that's another place you could go for good vibes as well. Mm -hmm. But I like Firebird because it's like Indian food meets um, street food, really. Mm -hmm. It's like his own twist on it. Mm -hmm. And it was really tasty. It was really good. The tamarind wings are really good. Oh. And I had something that looked kind of like a gyro meets Indian food and that was really good as well. Ooh. So in addition to bearded hog, I would put those two as my, my yeah. two. Okay. I also heard there's a really good Hennessy burger, Jessica. You'll, you'll see her on my channel soon. I don't know where the heck the place is. Firebird yeah. is in Worthing Square. Worthing Square. Yeah, yes. Worthing Square. Yeah. So again on the South Coast. So just another, you know, place to check out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next one is scenery. Mm -hmm. So me personally, I would choose a place called Mimosas mm -hmm. for breakfast particularly. Mm -hmm. Now it really is about the scenery. The food is like basic breakfast, mm -hmm. but it's like by the water. The water is so blue oh. and beautiful and the space looks be blue and beautiful. And I know we're in Barbados and mm -hmm. there's a ton of spots by the water, but there's something about this in the morning when I went there with my friend, we were just eating breakfast there on mm -hmm. our final day before we left it just felt really good and yeah. beautiful i don't know i just i highly recommend it and i will be back there before i leave actually. definitely for me it's the animal flora cave i know that seems oh. a bit strange but again as a barbadian who wants something a little different from the usual sit down in a restaurant and being a wall and being surrounded by walls i think the animal flora cave is great because there is the view of the north of the island mm. and if you go at the right time you will see the whales as they migrate across yeah, oh, what? Ocean. Yeah. Okay, well, mm -hmm. I'm going there this weekend, so I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> That'll probably be on my channel, yeah. guys. <laughs> and they have breadfruit tacos. That's the part where you got me, where she mentioned mm -hmm. this, like, when you got here, and I was like, okay, yeah. I'm going to have to try that. So definitely, that's my scenery location. All right. Yeah. So Sabrina, thank you so much for yeah. doing this. Now, I learned some new spots, mm -hmm. you learned some new spots. Definitely. You guys got the tourist and yep. uh, local perspective, right? Yep. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to both channels. Yes. Please do. And again, comment down below if you have. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.